Okay, y'all, I finally made it to my destination out here in Merlin. Um, but let's get this party started before we go into the house and talk about our May budget, okay? Okay, so May is an interesting month because there's a lot of important birthdays in May. And then there's some important vacations in May. So let's talk about what I wrote down thus far. But I already know. That this ain't quite right. I already know. I already know. One of the things I'm hoping for in May, honestly, is the sale of this house. I'm hoping that this house can be done in May and sold in May. That would be so dope. Um, if that happens, I feel like I will have like a beautiful windfall of money that I can then hit some other long-term achievements, goals with. Um, so that's my main thing. But in the meantime, here is what's happening with what we know, with what we know for certain. For the month of May, I project that I will bring home $12,138 in income, and this will be after taxes and payroll deductions. This is what I expect to hit my bank account. With that money, this is what I plan to do. $105 will go to the HOA, $133 to the gas bill, $181 electricity bill, and these are basically based off of what the last month's bill was. $219 for the cell phone, and that's for three phones. $85 for the internet. $54 for security service. $125 for the lawn, because lawn should be starting back up again. Need to... <laughs> I, mean, I don't think I've seen my lawn guy, even though my lawn hasn't grown terribly high. Um, but there hasn't been any evidence that has been cut. But then again, what do I know? $175 for housekeeping. $386 for insurances. And that is for two cars. Somebody else's insurance I pay as well as my house property insurance. $30 for Easy Pass. $50 for the rental, rental electricity bill. $43 for subscription fees, and that includes Netflix, that includes um, YouTube Prime, and that includes VidIQ. Food, fun miscellaneous, and household miscellaneous. I pretty much do what I call mindful spending. This is Corinne. Hey, girl! You wasn't at home, so I decided to sit in the car and make a video. The video's on. Hey, y'all. They can't see you. You gotta go up. Uh, no, you're not yep. doing the budget video. Yeah, I am. You a hater. You committed to having it happen, girl. I love you. That's dope. She's like, wherever, whenever. Exactly. We're going to make good use of our time. All right. So, where was that before we were really interrupted? Okay. Oh, this memory card is about to be full. Okay. So. We be, we're mindful of what we spend. We don't try to go YOLO. We don't try to just be buying stuff just because we can. Mm -mm. Nope. We got bigger fish to fry. Bigger, tastier fish to fry. So, here I'm setting aside $200 because I do have a great vacation planned this month. And for that vacation, I would like to look like I care about myself. So $200. It might be more than that. Because honestly, I think I'm going to get some braids or something. So it'll maybe more. $80 for these nails. Look at these. Mm -hmm. That's how I'm living right now. But $80 for these nails. $115 for these lashes. And $1,000 set aside for Ampster. Damn. Now, guys, I just thought about it. I'm, I feel like I'm going to need more money because I just remembered we haven't booked a place to stay yet. And I just remembered that's why I was going to bring my laptop to, with me over here, but I didn't bring my laptop. Oh, well, we. Oh, good gracious. No, now I'm thinking about what I have on my plate for tomorrow. Tonight, tonight, tonight. I'm going to try to start looking for a place to stay in Amsterdam. Um. And that $1,000, honestly, I want it to be just spending money and not to include lodging fees. But we got to lodge somewhere. So we'll see what happens. Um, I like to go on these major vacations with a good cushion of money so that I can just do whatever I want to do and not feel like, well, oh, it's not in my budget. It's all in my budget. 401k, $1,580. 
health savings account, $200. Savings, $1,275. And the mortgage gets $1,536. Extra to my mortgage, because one of my long-term goals is paying off this wonderful home, $3,000. And when all of that is said and done, I have $1,566 remaining. Now, in the remaining money, I do have to take care of giving, because we gives, food, miscellaneous things like fun and whatever else the house may need. So all of that stuff comes from that $1,566. But what I try to do is be... um. It's to save more than what I spend so that at the end of the day with that 1566, I have more money left over that I can apply to my long-term goals, such as investing, such as saving, such as paying off of this house. Y'all's battery is about to die. Let me change y'all again. <laughs> okay, y'all change. Now, the crazy thing about this month is a few things. Okay, so we still have all of the things that we're doing. Um, I talked about that in my April Bumped Its Head video. Um, some of that money has already been set aside from previous months, from April's budget and from March's budget. Okay, we still have a cushion there that we're using for that money. In the meantime, I had showed y'all in the April Bumped Its Head video that I got a letter from the HOA saying I need to do all these things. And some of it is fix my lattice board. Y'all, why? Okay, first of all, Handyman says $700 to, fi to fix the lattice. I went to Home Depot. The big pieces of lattice, like the big long pieces of lattice, only cost like $15 a uh, thing, right? Big long piece. So even if I got two of those things, even if I got three of those things, that's $45, about $45, okay? So you're telling me $45 in material, and then you're going to charge $600 to staple this material onto the house? So, of course, I want to do it myself, right? The problem with doing it myself, because I went back to Home Depot, they don't cut lattice boards. So, I need to find, I'm going to check with Corinne to see if some of her peoples around here can cut lattice board for me. Or if I can just buy my own, invest in my own, or maybe even rent, because, you know, we've been spending a lot of money lately. Um, the saw thing to cut the lattice board and then staple it my staple it back on the house myself because seven hundred dollars for forty five dollars of supplies because all of the other things are still good all of the boarding around it still good so we're going to repurpose those reuse those um even if i bought some new nails the nails were three dollars for like a pack of six seven eight nine ten i don't know it was like a bunch of them that came in a pack for like three dollars um so yeah that's one of the things I'm trying to figure out. I'm in the midst of figuring out right now. And then for May, I told you guys, it's my mother's birthday, my grandmother's birthday, and it's Mother's Day. I plan on taking them to um, NJ. Jay's mom is going to come down. And so we are going to take them to see this play, David, at Sight and Sound in Pennsylvania. So for that, though, look, nails are this nail polish is flaking off as we speak more and more so for that though um already paid for the hotel rooms already paid for the tickets gotta pay for gas to get there which jay will probably pay for um food while we're there i probably want to do some amish tours while we're there because we're going there on a friday and we're not coming back till monday so we'll be there friday no 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 no. we're going there on saturday so we'll be there saturday and sunday and coming back on a monday so saturday will be the play sunday i'm thinking it will be a nice time to do the tours and everything and then come back on monday and i will have to get my mom and my grandma back to like richmond for somebody to pick them up and bring them back home. And then at some point, um, I think Tuesday is the flight back to Miami. I think I think it's on a Tuesday. Might be a Wednesday or a Thursday. I don't know, but it's real close. Um, so that's what's happening. So there's some more money that is going to be needed there as far as spending money goes. Um, we have Amsterdam. And I already told y'all about that. The fact that I don't think I budgeted enough with that $1,000. And then 
the rental mortgage because I still have to talk to my insurance company. My injustice has been on vacation. He's coming back May 2nd. So I believe that's Monday. And so Monday, I need to reach out to him because I believe that they should be giving me another check. To pay this mortgage because right now there's nothing in the coffers is it the coffers or coifers the coffers there's nothing there um to pay that mortgage so if not if they say oh no we paid you blah 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 blah, blah then this means that i have to pull money from my own life and pay that mortgage on a rental property which i will just pull from a savings account um so that's what's happening right now um in the meantime we're done here we're done here. We're going to go in this house and get ready to go to this recital, this dance recital performance. Extravaganza because it's sold out in 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, the tickets go on sale. It's sold out. And like I said, Carla's daughter is playing the lead in this thing. I don't know if I can record. I hope probably not. But. We're going to see what we see and we're going to go and celebrate her and be there and support her and enjoy this thing. And then see if her neighbors can help us with some lattice board. I don't see nobody with no lattice board around here. Just my life. Just my life. Peace, y'all. Thumbs up, subscribe, talk to me in the comments.